Yeah, not surprised. Usually it's cold in winter and we get a couple of thaws, but this time it was warm and we got a couple of days like this. Looking east off the tower, you can see that it is still lower visibility. The further east you go, where we're still hanging on to some of those wet flurries, although things have really died down Toronto westward as this system continues to push from west to east here across the region. So uh, we do have also no ice on the lakes. And so usually snow squalls tend to taper off at this time of year because there's ice on the lakes. Uh, but here's the thing with the wind direction coming in off of Georgian Bay. It's sort of like a west southwest wind right now. Perry Sound getting hammered by snow 15 to 25 centimeters tonight. We've got some of the uh, heavier snow as I mentioned out through Markham and Scarborough and up into northern York region and the same southwest wind is also dropping snow and pumping it from Lake Erie with that wind over to Fort Erie and over towards uh, just north of Buffalo into North Tonawanda. All right so snow for tonight traced to a centimeter like it's tapering off as I mentioned right we'll see maybe another centimeter or two up around the north then comes the lake effect snow tomorrow night so this is your five to ten couple of pockets of 15 are possible these are the traditional snow belts with that northwest wind and it's going to be windy like today we were gusting to like 50 kilometers per hour tomorrow's 60 to 70 that's tomorrow then comes Friday. Now, I didn't want to put numbers on this because we are still like uh, over two days out, over 48 hours out. But what I want you to focus on right now is where you see the lighter grays is where we're expecting some higher snow amounts. Toronto right now, early estimates are in the three to seven centimeter range for Friday night into Saturday. Higher amounts to the north and east, lower amounts to the west. But again, by late tomorrow, we'll have a better handle on it. So this cool air is going to stay, stay in place below seasonal temperatures. There we go. We're going to kick that out Sunday into Monday, and that is represented here in the long range maximum temperatures. So I even say like four, six, eight degrees. It'll be a milder week next week. Average high is like four or five degrees for this time of year. As far as tomorrow morning goes, though, you still have to put like mittens on the kids and cover your ears if you've got short hair like me, because uh, we've got that zero in the morning, but it's going to feel like minus seven. And even at the warmest point of the day tomorrow, these temperatures will feel like minus six to minus nine. That's at the warmest point because that gusty wind is going to be in place. All right, so there's that snow on Friday. Also, have you noticed the morning wind chills Thursday and Friday minus 14 to minus 15. So now we're starting to bring in a slight risk of hypothermia and a slight risk of frostbite as well. So that's Thursday, Friday morning. That's not a bad weekend, a little bit chilly Saturday morning, but we've got some sun. We've got dry conditions with temperatures rebounding and then we're back into rain with those milder temperatures by next Tuesday. So Cynthia, at least you've got hair to cover your ears and earmuffs for me tomorrow and toques and mittens for the kids.